How do I look? No cuts. No cuts. Clean. Okay. Good. Right. So we well, that's a change. Oh, yeah. A, a big highlight for you now. What happened to the uh, not getting hit part of the game plan that, that you were going in with? Uh? Yeah, it kind of went out the window. Once once you get in there, it's just, uh, you know, action, reaction. And, uh, you know, I love the thrill. I kind of – something about getting hit, I just – it turns me on some way. It's just like I, I thrive in that environment. Uh, coach says I thrive in chaos. And, uh, you know, I created some chaos in there. And uh, – Look what happened. Yeah, pretty phenomenal knock. I mean, is that the single greatest highlight of your, of your career? A hundred percent. You know, I've never had a, a out cold knockout in my MMA career, 26 pro fights um, in the streets, different story. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely the first out cold knockout. And, uh, you know, honestly, uh, I, I felt kind of guilty. I felt bad uh, going for that, uh, that finisher blow. Um, but Herb wasn't there yet. And, uh, you know, I didn't know if he was going to bounce back up and hop in on a single leg. So, you know, I just had to take those shots. Do you regret going for that finishing shot? Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, afterwards, when he was still on the ground, um, you know, I felt remorse. But when you when you look back on the moment, it's like I've knocked guys down before and then uh, they've hopped up on a single leg. So you kind of in the moment you, you have to go for it. If the ref's not stopping the fight, you got to yeah. you got to, you know, and continue to fight until the ref stops. And both of you guys were spinning. Um, did, did you see that? Uh, how, how did that go down? Did you see him yeah, spinning? I, then I, you I saw to spin? him go for the spin and uh, I spun faster and harder. So, uh, yeah, it was just a timing thing. I saw him go for the spin. I don't know if we were both thinking it in the moment, but I saw his head turn and him spin. So I spin faster and harder and uh, mine landed. How did you feel up to that point? I mean, it was it was a tight fight. You know, the opening round was, was tough. Yeah, I felt like I, I gave up the first round, um, you know, almost willingly. Um, I, I didn't plan on going to the judges' scorecards. I knew I wasn't going to get a decision here in Mexico, find a Mexican fighter. Um, you know, I, I planned on taking him out. And uh, if that meant giving up the first round, so be it. So, uh, you know, the first round, I kind of kept the pace up high. He got that takedown and, uh, you know, halfway through the round, I kind of knew the round was his. So I just kind of stayed in his face, uh, had him, you know, continue to throw strikes and, uh, you know, kind of just uh, let him wear himself out. And I knew the longer the fight went on, he wouldn't be able to keep up the kind of pace I put up. I know there's still a couple of fights sense. left. You want to count your money for it's there. But I mean, when you have a moment like that, do you, do you let yourself start dreaming about the 50K? Um, well, you know, I don't I don't see a more vicious knockout going down the net tonight and uh but yeah i mean shoot uh when i get that money it's it's, it's all invested you know um you know i, I want to continue to save throughout my career i'm not a big spender i'm not a you know a baller um you know I'm, I'm providing for my family i'm providing for the rest of my life we can only fight for so long so i want to keep stacking up money invested in into smart investments and uh you know just keep growing my worth and you were you were there on the cage with the american flag on your knees and you kind of stayed there for a bit um, and it kind of looks like you were reflecting on something. What, what were you thinking of uh, at that moment? I was praying for my opponent's safety. Um, yeah, I saw him laying there. He was out cold, and, you know, I felt bad. Um, you know, he would have done the same to me, and I'm sure he would have, uh, you know, felt remorse as well. Um, you know, from bell to bell, we're in there to, to hurt each other. But after the fight's over, uh, it's all love. You know, I, I care about this person. He's he's chasing the same dreams I'm chasing. And uh, so I was praying for his safety, and... Uh, you know, I just hope he makes a full recovery and, uh, you know, bounces back. And how do you feel the Mexican people in that moment? Um, you know, uh, at, at first they started booing me, but yeah. uh, I really love the Mexican fans. They love fighters. And uh, so I spoke to them. And when I spoke to them, they cheered me. And I felt like I, I won over a lot of fans tonight. And, uh, you know, I look forward to fighting in Mexico City again. Okay. What's next for you? What's next for me? Shoot, the sky's the limit, man. Uh, Honestly, I want a top 15 opponent. I know I'm not in a position to ask for um, or, or call my shots, but uh, I want somebody that's going to go in there and try and take me out. Uh, I don't want somebody that's going to try and run away from me. I want somebody dangerous because when I fight somebody dangerous, that's when I hurt people and that's when you see the best version of me. So honestly, I'd like to fight uh, by the end of the year and I like to stay active. You know, that would be for this year and I want to fight somebody dangerous.